guys, welcome back to JD Toys. My name's Doug, and we have with us today Ethan. Ethan's been helping us out lately, and uh, been having a good time. Um, hopefully you're learning some things. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> but working with us, um, probably what he's learning, probably doesn't need to know. I don't know. <laughs> so, as you know, most of our videos are dealing with tractors and, and, and mowers and things of that nature, but today we are doing some cutting with our plasma cutter. So we want to see how that is going. We have our plasma cutter out and we're going to be cutting some steel with it. Uh, Ethan is going to school to be a welder and so we're excited to see uh, what he can do with the plasma cutter. And we, we may get a chance to do some welding later. Would you enjoy trying a welder out? Yeah. Great. I'll try I, it. There you go. I know he's done some welding. Uh, actually he's done quite a bit of welding. Um, if I understand correctly, he's a pretty good welder, um, pastor of his church, who is, what, is he a master welder, would you say? Yeah, that's okay. what his certifications are. Okay, and he's been working with Ethan and teaching him the fine art of welding, so actually I'm hoping to see him weld and maybe learn some things because there's always something you can pick up. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that, but today we're going to start with a plasma cutter. Have you ever used a plasma cutter? No. You've never used one? Well, I'll be honest with you, I've not used it a ton. All right, there's the Lotus 80. It's actually an LTP 8000. And uh, we really like, really like how it cuts. Um, we really haven't used it a lot, but we've used it some. And we've made some nice cuts with it. Clean cuts. I wouldn't say they're as clean as... Uh, a laser but they're definitely some clean cuts so we're gonna get a chance here to see what it does so here's the back of the plasma cutter and you can see our air inlet and you can see the on off switch we have the on off switch here and there's our cord it's a twist lock and then we have an extension cord that runs into our outlet on the wall. So we're going to turn this on. So right now it's set on 50 amps. And you can see the air pressure. You have to have air to cut your plasma. We can turn it all the way down to 20 amps. So we can go as high as 80. There's 80. This is going to be the piece that we're going to cut. And uh, it's, this is a little bit curved. We'll see if we can't straighten that up. So. Ethan, you want to put a clamp on that side? Yeah. Ethan, you got your helmet on. So there's some things you want to do when you're cutting. You want to make sure that you have the proper uh, protection. So in this case, we're going to be using the welding helmet because we don't have goggles. We have gloves. We have the proper footwear. And we recommend using a respirator. So if you have all those things, you should probably be safe. Okay, so that didn't cut all the way off. Uh, I can tell you why. You cut fast. And we had cut earlier a piece on 50 amps. And this is on 20 amp. And on 20 amp, you gotta go slow. Well, slower. So, give you an idea of what happened here. So as you can see, it didn't quite cut all the way through. Although you can see some heat on the back, it didn't cut it. All right, Ethan, so we learned something there, right? Yeah. 
we either have to uh, turn the heat up or go slower. Yeah. So we're gonna cut this again. Now, Ethan, let's go a lot slower. Let's see, what are we looking for? Uh, we're looking for our, our sparks to go down, not back up, so here we go. All right, so that cut, and yeah, you saw a slow one. Increase our amperage to 30. And see what we get. Now the thing of this is that I'm touching this and I've got thin rubber gloves on. And it's not hot. It is warm, but it's not hot. It's pretty cool. I, if we had to cut that with a torch or no way that you could grab that. So, even, you were a good cut. Nice smooth. Okay, what'd you think of that cut? That was better. Yeah, that was went quite a bit faster. Um, yeah, so the difference between 20 amp and 30 amp seems like quite a bit. Uh, move that clamp, please. Thank you, sir. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but on the back side of the cut, which is warm but not hot there's a little lip here and you can knock that off that is called dross and dross is the result of when the metal drops from the cut all right Ethan if you would be so kind as to turn the plasma cutter up to 40 great thank you okay we're a little closer here to our work now Ethan has the plasma cutter set at 40 and uh, so you're going to be able to cut faster. Now just so you know the thickness of material we are cutting 8 inch. I'm going to say you could have cut that a lot faster, just so you know. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That was 50, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, I think our dross is about the same. That didn't change much. Sure does make a nice cut, though. That is a sweet cut. Makes a nice cut. Okay. There we go. 59.60. All right. It was a fast cut, all right. We didn't get started. <laughs> okay, so that oh, worked pretty good. Yeah, beautiful. The watch cut it, cut it off though. Okay, a little bit here, and that thing is clean. There's a little bit there, but man, that is really pretty clean. 
so look at that cut guys I know it's not laser cut but man that's a pretty nice cut all right that's a full quarter so we've got quarter inch steel. Uh, hey let's try 60 you're not gonna be able to go quite as fast obviously but let's see what happens here at 60. That was at 60 and when he started to get in a hurry. Now I know that I sped him up a little, but you can see this is where he started over here on the right. And the faster he went, the sloppier the cut got. You want to hit this one? You can. I gladly would give it a shot. I'd like to kick it up to 70 though. All right, we'll turn it up. 70 and see what we have. Here we go. 70? Yeah. Okay. That's super clean right there. Yeah. Look at that car right there, guys. That is clean. Oh my goodness. There's one little hiccup in there. You got the hiccup here. But for the most part, that is a clean cut. The dross is very minimal. Very minimal. So, wow. Well, I got to try 80. I can't let this go. It just... Turn it up to 70. We gotta get it up to 80. Let's see what 80 does. Alright, here we are set up at quarter inch steel with 80 amp. Little bit of dross on the back, nothing major, but there is some dross. There's our cut. All right. So, Ethan, what do you think of that? Uh, pretty good. Cut really good with like. 8 inch steel at 40, 50, kind of better at 50, you can pull it faster. The quarter inch was at the 80 mark, it's uh, really smooth. Yeah, I thought it I thought it did good. I'm uh, definitely got to slow it down when you get into thicker steel. Uh, no idea how it would compare to a hypertherm or something of that quality. I'm sure a hypertherm would do a really nice job. Oh, but, probably. Uh, you know, for... Uh, 380 bucks plus shipping to get it here uh, you can't you can't, can't complain too much um, so yeah if we would have spent two thousand dollars or twenty five hundred dollars for a nice hybrid therm I'm sure there's gonna be a big difference in the cut but well guys I hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, we look forward to uh, doing others we want to do some welding, but actually we're running out of time today. It's just about quitting time, and, and we don't want to get in trouble with the boss, so uh, we're going to have to 
knock it off for today. But we definitely want to, definitely want to do this again. And you guys take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.